she's pretty cute. I'll say by, by the speech. Wait, well, so probably get the ore that the lords aren't supposed to stand for. What are you looking at? Yeah. And let's go. I never did find a grilled rat pig. Oh, there it is. Exactly. That would be grilled rapig. What? <laughs> What's the big brew? Haha. It's rapig. How could you cook this thing with such cute little eyes? What did it ever do to you? I fail to see what the problem is. Rapigs are. <laughs> <laughs> Having said that, I do realize it's become rather rare to eat them lately. What with people increasingly embracing them as <laughs> companions. Wow. They definitely didn't fall out of fashion to eat because of their flavor, that's for sure. Agreed. Rapics have tender, fatty meat. The taste can take some getting used to, but I would argue that's part of its charm. If the taste is too strong, I imagine you can either just cook it thoroughly or simmer it with some herbs to mask it. Indeed. At first I wasn't sure whether to smoke it with spices or simmer it in water. But I opted to grill it as is instead. Seriously, Dohalim? You have the weirdest tastes. That's probably because when you live the life of a lord, you grow tired of most ordinary <laughs> So you end up seeking out more unusual food. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. Okay. Well, putting aside what it used to be, you've got to admit it does look pretty damn good. Meat is meat after all. That reminds me. I do believe I once read in a book about rare delicacies, how one can go about preparing an owl. <laughs> huh? I suppose I won't have the chance to try it anytime soon. Oh boy. Now with Hoodle you won't! <laughs> Hoodle only, atta only attacks a lot, it seems. Force Mantis. Yeah. 
your movement, and I'll stop your life! That took more energy than I expected. That looks new. Doing some thinking? Nah. It just occurred to me that our journey's been going for a while now. Is it a wonder to you our group has held together this long? Maybe. We've got Danins, Renans, a Lord, a Mage, and even a guy from another side. <laughs> Yet here we all are, leaning on each other as travel companions. It's like a minor miracle. If anything, I'd say it's proof. Proof that as long as we accept each other for who we are, we can all get along. And with understanding comes togetherness. Yeah, we are more than enough evidence of that. <clears throat> I've always had a thorny relationship with others, quite literally as it happens. I figured that it was easier to give up on intimacy rather than having to go through all of the pain of rejection. I mean, is it any wonder I grew thorns around my heart, too? But now... Right. And now... I still have my thorns, of course. But they don't cover my heart. I know now that there is more than one way for people to relate to one another. It was you... And everyone else here that taught me that. Everyone that you brought together, Alfin. It wasn't just me. I mean, sure, I invited a few folks to join us, but... Swordsmanship's about all I have to offer. Everyone's taught and supported me just as much as I have them. You see? That's what I'm talking about. What do you mean? I mean... You're fine just as you are. The bonds that you form with others, they shine more brightly because they're mutual. It's not just one bond for you. It's many, each with a heart of its own. That's what makes them special. There it is. That's a pretty tall tower we're looking at climbing. We better eat now, because who knows when we'll get to next. True. But don't worry. If anything happens on the way up, I'll make sure you're taken care of. Good to know. <laughs> Looks perfect. Guarantee. Dorlene, care if I hang out for a while? Would you, perchance, be interested in going on a walk together? Why? You're not on guard duty for another few hours. Which is why I want to walk. To hear the music in these parts. Music? Where are you going to find musicians all the way out here? The music of the wild. More to music than what people play. It's in the grass, fluttering in the wind, the leaves and the trees, and the songs of birds and insects. Yeah, exactly. Once you open your ears, you'll find that music is truly everywhere in this world. 
What sounds like music depends on who's listening, huh? <laughs> it's an interesting idea, but I think it might be a little too difficult for me. Speaking of music, whatever happened to your instruments? You used to be a musician, didn't you? Those are well out of my reach at this point. That aside, I don't feel that I yet have the right to play any of them again. You could say that it is in part my way of atoning for that which I have failed to do over the years. Meaning that you haven't completely given up on making things right. Do you think me a fool stuck in the past? Not at all. In fact, far from it. You sound like you're still holding out hope for a brighter future. Picture yourself being able to play your music again. Doesn't that motivate you to keep going even when things get tough? Hmm? I see what you mean. I didn't realize that drive still lingered within me. The darkness in one's heart is sure to manifest in their music. However, I promise you that one day, when that darkness has finally lifted, I shall let you hear me perform. Well, now that you've said it, you're gonna have to follow through. I look forward to hearing you play. Next time, what say we discuss relics? <laughs> Interesting, or if we actually will discuss relics. Shall we get moving? We'll go up to. Oh. <sighs> Everything okay there, big guy? You look kind of pissed. I'll say. He looks like he wants to bite the head off something. What's eating at you? Come on, Alfin. You're gonna bring us all down if you keep that ferocious scowl on. Hmm? Uh, oh, sorry. Do I really look that ticked off? Yeah, it kinda makes you hard to talk to. So, what's bothering you? It's, uh... It's a pebble. <laughs> a pebble? Snuck its way into the back of my boot. I can't seem to get rid of it. I know that feeling! I totally get you. Weird how much it can get on your nerves, huh? Yeah, it's barely bigger than a grain of sand. So how come it feels like I'm walking around on hot nails? You know, maybe this is a crazy solution, but you can <laughs> take your feet off and give it a shake. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, of course. He's right. <laughs> Phew, it's like I've been given a new lease on life. <laughs> Seemed kind of obvious, but <laughs> that's the trouble with windy places. All that fine debris ends up getting into your hair and clothes. Alfin, is it just me, or have you become extra sensitive ever since getting your sense of pain back? Now that you mention it, the other night at camp, there was a fly that was <laughs> so much he unsheathed his sword. So much for sensitive. That's just being a Mr. Cranky Pants. Nothing new on that front, then. What's the matter, Alfin? You look a little tense. Uh, it's nothing, really. He wants to get angry, but knows that doing so would only prove our point. Hence the building <laughs> plainly on his face. Would you stop analyzing this for a minute? Point taken. <laughs> What's down at the bottom? Poodle? Oh look, it's more of these uh birds he fought before.
Silk. Oh, there's a little 66. I'll take you all on! Ha! Flare the Molotov! First strike! Now I'm tapping! Now my clothes are flagging! I'm ready to go! You make me angry! That was a bad idea! I can do this all day! Imbue this vanquish soul with love and resuscitation! No dark shall break this night. You picked the wrong fight. Good to know my training's paying off. And what, pray tell, does this training of yours entail? <laughs> Why? Interested in joining me?
That was pretty nice.